Welcome back, Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach coming to you live this morning from the Thor Industries dealer open house. And we have not one, two outlaw Class C toy haulers to show you. We're gonna start in the brand new 29T. We have both floor plans, we have the exterior choices, we have the interior choices. What we're gonna do, play a little game called Outlaw, compare, and contrast, because there are a lot of similarities between the two, but there are also a lot of differences. So when you're thinking about a toy hauler, think about how you are going to use it. Now, they both have the same 1,000 pound capacity in the garage. Let's walk up the ramp right here. I, I think we can get up here, Tom, without you slipping, or I'll walk in here and you'll walk around. You do what you feel safe. So here we are in the garage. 1,000 pound capacity. Look at that because we have the tread plate on there. Now back here you do have screen doors if you'd like to take and lock out the bugs and the critters so you can sit back here, get some ventilation going. You have the tie downs, you have the D-Link tie downs so you can tie down your toys back here. 5000 BTU AC, a couple of speakers. If you'd like to mount a TV, you can. You have 12 volt, you have 110, you have USB. Bluetooth coach radio system. Lots and lots of headroom. Now that's one of the differences you're going to notice when we step into the other garage. You have the drop down bunk. This is gonna give you the headroom if you have taller things uh, to put in here. Vents right over here so you can get some fresh air back here. Huge, huge cabinet back here as well so you can load that up with all the goodies and all the, all the fixings that you need depending on what you're traveling with. Maybe if you get a couple of couple of uh, dirt bikes in here or whatever it may be. You got all the, all the things that you need. You have a vent back here as well. You have the track so you can mount whatever. Whatever, it's your outlaw. You can mount whatever you want back here. So this is going to be the garage in the all new 29T. As we walk through, twist, and we will start right here. You're gonna have a control panel in about the same area in both where you can start your generator, check your tank levels, uh, put out your slide wall, turn on the tank heaters, you have heated, heated tanks on here, turn on your water pump, you have your AC and your one touch leveling jacks. Now this has a split bath. We'll start here. Everything you need is in here, right? It is a bathroom. It's everything you need for a home base, right? So you're out there, you're camping, you have medicine cabinet, toilet sink it's exactly what you need in your very own bathroom so no need to use a bathhouse i'll be when you step out tom and i'll shut this door all right and then you have your shower back here and i will shut this door tom gets out and in here you have the nice shower surround you have the shower miser and and one of the things and you've heard me talk about this in all of our videos is how great this is especially when you're dry camping which you may be doing in an outlaw especially if you take this to the track or to the race or maybe you know you're at the horse whatever it is it doesn't matter when you're dry camping the last thing you want to do is fill up your gray tank so with the shower miser what this is going to do is it is going to heat up that what well the tankless hot water is going to heat up the water but when you turn the knob that hot water is going to get flowing and when the water is hot you're not standing there just waiting for it to get hot with that water running into your gray tank what's going to happen is that blue pipe is going to turn a, a, a bluish whitish gray and then you will know when that does you click the valve and now you have hot water uh, hot water capacity by the way on um, both your outlaws is going to be 40 fresh uh, you have 30 gallon black tank and a 34 and a half gallon gray tank on all of these. Uh, as I'm just train of thought here, uh, as we showed those controls, 13.5 BTU AC on this and a 5,000 in the garage. So let's continue our tour. Our double door fridge right over here. So you're going to need that in this fully equipped kitchen. You can duke it out. Do you want the fruit rings? Or do you want the sugar flakes? Now, they are both even better tasting. Tom, what are you going with? Oh, I'm, I'm a flake guy. Flake guy? Tom's going sugar flakes. So I, I got the fruit rings. We'll try those out and let you know. So what you're seeing here is the vapor blue decor. You have lights. You can, little switches you can control on. Under cabinet lighting. I just turned on the vent fan. Um, flip up countertop. So you have all kinds of room in here. Sink covers for the large single bowl sink. Microwave. You have this nice hood light and fan. 
and your three burner gas cooktop and aha uh -huh, you thought that was an oven didn't you storage so you put your pots and pans in here and you have your convection microwave that does all your cooking and your baking so the appliances are going to be the same in uh, both of the outlaws and eat right yes okay fuse box right down here so in the event you blow a fuse 12 volt 110s always always accessible lots of storage you have the nice cabinet here sponges silverware or whatever and then one two three doors down below now here's where the two we're playing compare and contrast let's really do contrast because we did a lot of comparing with a lot of the similar features but check this out this is what makes the 29t the 29t you have this wonderful Murphy bed. So a couple of things I want to show you. First, you have the sofa, right? So you're sitting here, and this is also your dining area, your gaming area, you're getting your work done area. You have these pedestal tables. They're set up in uh, the other coach. Same, same sort of deal. You have the table. You put it in. You lock it down, which I'm not going to do because we're going to put the bed down, and then you put your table on top, right? So you're sitting here, you're eating your sugar flakes and your fruit rings. Maybe you're getting some work done, posting to the socials with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Wi-Fi on the road in your Outlaw, whether it's the 29T or the 29J, through WineGuard or your favorite carrier. You just get a data plan. You get the SIM card, you're up on the roof. You pop in the SIM card, you log on, you set things up. Now you have a hot spot. You're a rolling hot spot wherever you are, which is great when you are off grid or tap into a nearby Wi Fi signal. If you're at the track or you're near a restaurant, wherever it is, you can get into that Wi Fi signal and get everything done. Tom, I'm going to put this down for you, give you a little more room as I put down this Murphy bed here. All right. So the Murphy bed is going to put the pillows here and then you move your cushions. All right, we're going to set those over here by this closet, by the way, which is massive. You have a lot of storage in here, hanging space. Ladder in here for the overhead bunk that holds 800 pounds. Seat cushions because those chairs swivel around. And then you have a couple of cabinets down below. But it's time to sleep. You have a, a, a pin here, and you have a pin here. And then you fold out the footrest. Boom! Murphy bed. I love it. I love it. Speakers. You have lights. The speakers you can control with the radio. A 110 plug on each side and a net so you can just keep your devices charged there. All kinds of storage in here and then in the morning you don't make the bed. You keep your stuffies in there as well and then you just fold it up. Pin into place. Footboard into place. Back down pop your cushions in and you know they're cut out on each side so they fit over the armrest. There are seat belts here by the way. There you go. You are set. Uh, we do have both of these built on the E450 chassis. You do have all kinds of great gear in here. The, the push button controls, those I love, especially the thumb control that you have over there on the right. The camera button there, that is going to take and pull up your direct, your, your rear view camera or your side view cameras at any point. It controls the volume to your radio. The buttons on your left are your cruise control and the one up top that says OK in the four arrows, that's going to scroll through the dash. That's going to give you maintenance reminders, trip meters. Uh, when you put the hammer down and that 325 horsepower, and 450 pound feet of torque V8 on this chassis. You will, you will love the way that this drives. Auto headlights, emergency start on here as well. All the features on this radio too. If I can just, I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna be rude and reach. Uh, you have your radio, you have Sirius XM, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth phone, everything you need. Now here's the great thing about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is you can choose the, uh, RV specific navigation app of your choice, or you can get Road Pass Pro absolutely free for one year. What is it? Well, it's exactly what you see here on the sticker. The sticker doesn't lie, right? It's four apps, one membership. It's actually really neat. It's a giant social media network. You can scan that code now, uh, sign up, but you get your RV specific navigation there. You can, you know, reach out if you really love uh, social networking there. 
you can, hey, I'm going to this place. Has anybody stayed here? Oh yeah, it was great. Or no, that place was a dump. You want to go down the street, whatever it is, comes free, try it out. It is Rode Pass Pro. So this has been a quick once over of the brand new 29T. Tom, let's head over to the 29J and continue our game of compare and contrast. Wow, really compare and contrast when we stepped in. It was cloudy, it was gray. We had a little breeze blow through. Let's pick up our signage. So here's another big uh, contrast. So the porch and patio system is gonna be quite a bit different in the garage here. I'll jump up here. Uh, I'm like Spider-Man, right? I, am, I can climb like a ring-tailed lemur. So here on the 29J, you actually have the patio system. Okay, so you can use this as the patio, or you can use this as the ramp. And then inside, it's a little different setup. Remember the headroom I was talking about over in the 29T? You don't have that same amount of headroom in here because in here you have drop down bunk. So you press the button and now you have your bed come down. And then when you're done in the morning, you just put that right back up. You have storage in here. Nice table, what's great is this table you can take and use in here. You can also use it outside. There's a place for it, we'll show you when we go alongside. And then you have the curtains here that just buckle back the screen. Same sort of deal, you put that up and you keep the bugs out and you let the breeze in. You have the tie downs for your toys. Toolbox here. You have the vents, the Bluetooth coach radio system, the little jump start station here. Controls for your lights, uh, speakers, the TV back here, and you have an air conditioning, uh, air conditioner as well. I'm gonna pop through here, Tom. I will, I will trade you spots. Uh, as I walk through, by the way, just so you know, that ramp capacity is going to be 2,500 pounds uh, for you. And the, so just keep that in mind as you are loading up whatever you need, but you have a 1,000 pound garage capacity. Oh, you beat me in here. All right, so control panel we went over, we touched on briefly. Back here, you have a closet hanging space here. You have hanging space in here. You have two drawers down below. Your fuse box is here. The other floor plan had the split bath. Again, compare and contrast, a little contrasting here. This is all in one. I'll hold the door for you. Tom can show you around. Medicine cabinet, shower, the shower miser, foot flush toilet, nice area for towels to store back there. You have the fan uh, up above. So a real nice bath setup. So depending on what you're looking for in your toy hauler. So all kinds of different options for you here. As we walk out, now here's the other big contrast is the seating options. So you have the bed in the back here, all right? And then you have the two sofas here. So this is actually done up in the black Talon decor. I love the names of these outlaws. Uh, we had, uh, this is the rock and red exterior, by the way. So we have the red and the blue, but you can see the tables are the same, all right? You have the, the jackknife sofas here, so you have uh, sleeping here in the garage, and again, the 800-pound uh, overhead bunk. So the shelf back here has wireless charging for your phone, along with USB-A and USB-C ports, so wireless charging here. You have the net, the nice cabinets that you can store whatever you need in. You have the safety net for the bunk. You know, we haven't talked uh, TV because you do have entertainment options in here. Sometimes when you get weather like we are experiencing now, where we're getting on and off rain. And this happens, you know, I know when, when Tom and I shoot all these videos, it's always sunny, isn't it? It's always sunny and nice, and we know that that just doesn't happen. So with this setup over here, look at this. We have an HDMI distribution switch, cable. What's nice about having this is you can take and hook up a gaming console, because there's a TV back here as well behind me. So if you're in and you're you rained out, maybe the kids are playing a video game back here or you're streaming something over here. And you can do that uh, because we talked about the WineGuard Connect. It's a really, really great way to just stream whatever it is you need uh, into the TVs. Outside, I think we can take a quick walk around. We have some exterior storage. Oh, you know what? There's, a, there's, there's the double door fridge. Scan that QR code right now and then you can head straight to the website. You know what, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of these because these are going to be um, comparing. These are going to be the, the same setup. You have your, a 110 here. You have some buttons for some overhead lights. 
A uh, couple of awning buttons here starting to sprinkle. I should put these out. Awning light, uh, button uh, for the step light, cargo light, 12 volt battery disconnect switch. No matter what outlaw you're in, take, turn that on, leave it on the entire time you are gone or out and traveling because that fires up all the 12 volt systems in your house. And you do have a 1000 watt entertainment inverter. And then you have your solar controller down here for the 100 watts of solar charging. Oh, what do we got? You know what? I'm going to put this awning out real quick as we do that because it's starting to sprinkle here again. And this is what's great about this awning is you can put it out, keep the sprinkles off of you. And if it were a little warmer, you know, a little rain wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be bad. And now the wind's picking up, so I'll probably have to put it in. But we have, uh, I think we can get real quick. We can just kind of real quick do a uh, quick walk through here. All right, so we have the red, we have the blue exterior TV. So take in, wash whatever it is outside, fresh water fill. That table in the garage we showed you goes here. Uh, you can stay there at times so we don't get our, our gear wet. And then a little storage down here. Both of the outlaw floor plans are going to give you an exterior propane connection. So you can hook up a grill, you can hook up a griddle, you can have a great time as you are out exploring in your outlaw. One of the things I love about this awning is you can adjust the pitch on it. So if it's starting to rain and you have it out, you can simply adjust the pitch. You just pull it down and then the rain will roll off and not collect on your awning. A large storage bay up front on the 29J. So great way to travel, great way to take whatever it is you need with you. The Outlaw 29J and the brand new Outlaw 29T with a Murphy bed. So whatever Outlaw fits you best, learn more about them at ThorMotorCoach.com. I appreciate you being with us and we will be back here before you know it with more exciting Ford plans to show you. We're going to let the clouds and the rain break up a little bit so we can hopefully get a little sunshine for our next walk around. We'll see you real soon.